I've been coding for over seven years and I've built a lot of software applications like mobile apps, web apps, automations, and much more. In 2021, I released a video detailing how I would learn to code if I could start over. In that video, I listed steps, shared resources, and even created an accountability roadmap, which a lot of people like. Two years have gone by since the release of that video, and I've learned a lot about the process of learning how to code through people I've mentored and resources I've stumbled across. In this video, I'll be sharing those with you. Without further delay, let's get started. The first thing we must address when we talk about learning how to code is what does coding mean? The term coding is very broad and encompasses a lot of fields. There is web development, mobile app development, automation, AI, machine learning, game development, operating system development, and a lot more. It's very rare to find someone who can do everything, and even if they can, they can do everything very well. What part of programming do you want to get into? Your answer to this question will in some way dictate what route you take. Regardless of what you want to pursue, the first thing you should do is learn the fundamentals of programming. These are concepts and topics that are the same for all programming languages. These are things like the flow of a program, expression, statements, statement blocks, functions, scopes, errors, and more. Every programming language has these, and they're the first thing I'd recommend you learn. After learning those, I'd recommend learning data types and data structures. Like the fundamentals, these are common in every programming language, and it's essential that you get familiar with them. You'll run into them in whatever programming field you end up getting into. I've linked some resources in the description of this video for you to get started. After learning those, I'd recommend you start learning topics and concepts that are important in the role you've chosen. As I stated, there are a lot of roles in programming. The sooner you figure out what you want to do, the faster you can learn what is needed in that role for you to land a job. You can also avoid learning certain things you may never use. For example, in web development, there are roles for front-end development, back-end development, and full-stack development. If you choose to focus on front-end development, you don't need to learn object-oriented programming. That's something you can learn at a later time if you want to pivot to being a software engineer. Similarly, learning CSS is unnecessary if you want to be a back-end developer. It's something you can dabble with at a later time in your career. In my previous video, I stated you should learn object-oriented programming, and I made a pretty strong case for it. Since then, I've come to the realization that the goal for a lot of people learning to code is to land a job, and the sooner you can start learning things you'll be doing in that said job, the faster you'll achieve this goal. It's better to use your time and effort to learn things that you will need for an actual job, rather than learning things that you may never use but are good to know. After learning the basics and picking what I want to get into, I would visit roadmap.sh to see and start learning the specific concepts I need to know in order to land a job in that role. I specifically like roadmap.sh because they don't just focus on the languages, they also show you the path and things that you have to learn that are important within that role. For example, with backend development, after learning a language, you move on to version control and repo hosting services like Git and GitHub. You then move on to learn about relational databases, APIs, and more. Within those fields, they have subtopics that you should learn, things like authentication, testing, containerization, and more. They are also labeled in order of things that you should absolutely learn, alternatives you can pick and choose from, and things that you can learn in no specific order. You can also create an account on here and check things off as you learn them for completely free. Now, looking at this map and other maps on roadmap.sh can be very daunting, and learning all these concepts on your own is extremely difficult. It can be hard to determine what resources you should use to learn, and even if you find the right one, you might have questions along the way, and not having anyone to ask can hinder your development. That's where Simply Learn, the sponsor of this video, comes in. Simply Learn is a popular online bootcamp and course learning platform that offers the industry's best postgraduate programs, masters, and live training. They have a full stack Java developer course that teaches you everything you need to know to be job ready. In addition to the technical concepts and frameworks, you will learn about agile and scrum methodologies, which are industry standard. You also get to work on a wide array of projects throughout the course, which are absolutely great. We'll touch on why projects are important in a little bit. The best part is you'll get to deploy those projects using tools like AWS, Docker, Jenkins, and more. You'll also design databases, learn about version control systems, test your code, and use a lot of tools. The program teaches you how to be a full stack developer in the literal sense and goes over all the concepts in the roadmaps in a practical and applicable way. You'll learn backend development, frontend development, API testing, deployment, and more. By the end of the course, you will be equipped with knowledge of concepts and tools that will enable you to be job ready. The course also has great reviews and testimonials from past students who have finished the program and gone on to land jobs as software developers. Simply Learn also offers excellent software engineering programs such as the Caltech Coding Bootcamp in partnership with Caltech, MainStack, Automation Test Engineer, and much more. 
Explore Simply Learn today by clicking the link below. Thank you to Simply Learn for sponsoring this video. After learning the necessary skills for the specific role you want to get into, the next thing to do is to start working on projects. Programming projects are the ultimate way to show coding competency. You may know a programming language or different tech stacks, but the best way to show that you know them is to have a few programming projects under your belt using that language or the tech stack. There are different tiers to programming projects. A simple to-do list app is great for beginners, but to get hired, you need to work on industry-level projects. There are two specific criteria for projects like this. The first is there has to be CRUD operations in the project. CRUD is short for Create, Read, Update, and Delete. The application should either create data and send it to a database to be stored, read data from an API, or update data in a database. Almost every application of software development involves data, so you need to have experience handling data in the applications you build. Next, the project has to be deployed. Having projects deployed to a cloud provider is important and it does two things. First, it shows potential employers you work. They get to interact with it and see what you've built instead of just reading it on a resume. I know people who have gotten interviews solely based on projects they've built and deployed and shared online. Hiring managers and recruiters saw it and reached out to them. The second thing a deployed project does is show your programming maturity level. Building the application is one thing. Knowing how to deploy it to a cloud provider is another thing. In an actual job, you need to know or at least have an idea of how deployments are done. The last step of any software product is to serve it to users, and having a deployed project to any cloud provider shows you at least have an idea of what that process looks like. I've curated a list of over 25 programming projects that have the criteria that I've mentioned. They are broken down into front-end, full-stack, and back-end projects, all with descriptions, so just set tech stack and more. If you're a part of my newsletter, you should have received the link to the project in a previous email. If you are not and want to access the project, click the link below and sign up and you'll get access to it. The process of learning how to code is not a linear process. There will be ups and downs, and it can take months and sometimes years to land a job. Give yourself grace. If something isn't working out, take a break and come back to it at a later time. Focus on what you can control and do the best you can. If you stick with it long enough, you'll eventually reap the benefits from all the hard work that you've put in. That's it for this one. If there's any advice you'd give to your younger self about your coding journey, feel free to leave it in the comment section below. Remember to check out Simply Learn's Java Full Stack Development course. The link is down in the description. If you like content like this, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell so you're notified anytime I post a new video. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.